Unite Finance, the world of financial freedom. Hello, it's Monday, July 24th, and it is a time to start uh, the weekly market forecast in which we will go through uh, most important macro publications and the summarized fundamentals that are currently uh, driving the markets, uh, based on which at the end we will make a trading plan for Euro USD currency pair. So as usual, first we start with the calendar. Monday will start with the PMIs from the biggest economies like the UK, Germany, Eurozone as a whole and the US. On Tuesday we will get a CB consumer confidence. On Wednesday the long-awaited FOMC rate decision, so of course this will be the most important day of the week. On Thursday the ECB will make their rate decision. Apart from the ECB, on Thursday we will get the publication of the preliminary US GDP figures. Friday will be no different. We will get the BOG rate decision, or rather we will wait for the press conference, since up until now there are no indica indications that the Bank of Japan could change their monetary policy this week. Next we'll get US PC inflation, which is another very important indicator for the Fed. So as you can see, this week is packed. Ok, now let's move on to fundamentals. After the end of the sentimental part of the Euro USD rally, investors are stuck to fundamentals as they need rational data. It is not easy to find the necessary argument during the stagnation of the Eurozone economy and the impending end of the ECB's monetary tightening cycle. As a result, a EURUSD correction will soon begin, while the pair's sales at 1.12 work out 100%, and after the publication of Eurozone GDP data, it turned out that the indicator did not grow or fail or fall in the first quarter. Instead of a technical recession at the turn of 2022 to 2023, the Eurozone faced stagnation. So the prospects for the currency block look extremely weak. Yes, Europe has forgotten about the energy crisis shock. It also has adapted to the war in Ukraine, but the effects of the ECB's 400 basis points deposit rate increase since the beginning of the cycle are beginning to have a negative effect. If inflation in the US and the UK is slowing down so sharply, why shouldn't such process take place in the Eurozone? If so, the borrowing cost may not rise to 4%. Only a small majority of Bloomberg experts, uh, namely 52.5%, 52 predict an increase in borrowing costs to the mentioned level in September. This split demonstrates how difficult it is to determine where core inflation will return to its current, uh, from its current 5.5% to its 2% target. And not only do sustained price pressures and the struggling Eurozone economy bode well, officials are still unsure whether a 400 basis point rate hike from July 2022 will affect economic activity. So the fact is that the delayed effect begins to manifest itself more and more. As for the Fed, almost all Bloomberg experts predict that the US regulator will raise the federal funds rate by 25 basis points to 5.5 in July. However, in September the borrowing cost will not change. Curiously, one-fifth of respondents are calling for the resumption of the monetary restriction cycle in November. After the, after the release of US inflation data for June, the futures market reduced the 5.75 percent chance of federal funds rate hike in 2023 to 17 to 18 percent according to FOMC forecasts. However, now the figure has risen to 28 percent and before the release of CPI data it was 36 percent. Strong data on US retail sales and jobless claims contributed to both the derivatives reading and the euro USD correction. Thus, the euro has no advantage over the US dollar either in the economy's speed or the speed of the ECB's monetary restriction compared to the Fed. And so, uh, this could allow us to discuss the development of the euro USD correction, if not for the upcoming meetings of the American and European central banks. And so, investors need fresh news from Washington and Frankfurt. So Euro USD sales at 1.12 yielded profits, however shortly the Euro will consolidate against the US dollar in the range of 1.0106 to 1.12. So sell the pair on the rise and buy on the decline. 
And so that would be all from my side for today. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.